All right, hey guys, uh, don't mind that brief draws the effect there. Um, we are now in the part two of my, uh, I guess you could call this a story of my Apple redemption. <laughs> um, now, a uh, quick addendum to the last video. Uh, I totally forgot that external GPU enclosures are a thing. So theoretically, you could do uh, what my friend does, and he got a, I think Razer makes them. Uh, basically, you get another box, like, nearly the size of a desktop, and you uh, plop a graphics card in there, and then you connect it. I think it's either, like, Thunderbolt or, like, USB or whatever the latest thing is. And then that way you can run a current graphics card on a Mac. Um, according to him, it performs well. But he also did get like the highest end MacBook Pro you could possibly get. And that enclosure itself was $400. And it I, that just seems kind of not worth it to me. I'd rather just get a real PC at that point. Especially considering you still have that limited game support. Now, um, this part of the video is going to be primarily me struggling with Mac. Uh, this is the, okay, this is technically the second Mac I've owned. I have a used iMac in the other room I got like a month or so ago, which I, I just wanted to, you know, really on a day-to-day -day basis play with Mac before I like made the call about uh, getting one. Now the first thing that hit me is it feels kind of tablet-like in that you don't have a lot of access to the direct structure of your files. I really struggled finding things at first because like okay I figured out you can add these and that helps a lot but like Oh, okay, it's a library. I thought the photo booth app was just sitting in there, and I'm like, what? Okay. So, uh, first thing I figured out is not this, not this, not this. Damn it, I had this a second ago. Okay, well, never mind. I didn't figure it out. Uh, there was a, uh, there was a mode for the file browser where it showed like the entire hierarchy from root to wherever you were. And that helped me out a lot. Uh, I guess this works. Oh yeah, this. And there's not an up button that really bothers me. And so uh, for instance, here's some of my data science stuff. And uh, second thing I figured out is uh, it's really, really hard to actually get the real path to a given file. But if you uh, open it in Finder and then you drag it over to Terminal, then it will give you the real path. So that's a thing. Uh, the second thing is uh, I most Mac users I know just kind of live in fear of the terminal, but where I have a lot of... Uh, like Linux experience, I don't know how I could live without the terminal. So uh, there's a website um, where you can download Homebrew and let's you do this. You can be like brew, install, what's a package I want and don't have. Uh, how about Lynx? Because like CLI web browsers are the bomb. Nah, I'm kidding. Like you with how complicated web pages have gotten since this was made, it's pretty much useless. But it's a thing I can download real quick to just show you that this is a thing. And there you go. I don't yet know whether you would have to um, reinstall all your packages after an OS update. I'm assuming that you would, and I'm assuming everything just gets eaten or it just all becomes defective and you'd have to manually purge it and then like reinstall everything. That I don't find that idea too appealing, but I was able to accomplish, accomplish this much. 
So I got to the point where I got Python 3 and that gave me pip 3 so I could go get all my modules. And then I got Jupyter Notebook so that I could do this. I don't remember whether I remembered to close my Facebook. Looks like I did. So I can get into uh, Jupyter where, you know, a file <laughs> like folder navigation actually makes any semblance of sense to me. And, uh, okay, this is a notebook I was working on. So I was able to uh, get this sort of thing going. Uh, so I got that. I was able to download a CSV, and thanks to that handy-dandy path thing, I was able to get it imported, start looking at it, that sort of thing. I was able to get some charts going, and uh, it timed out when I actually tried to uh, make the like decision tree and like do the actual regression. So I wouldn't advise doing that locally. I'm hope my, my long-term goal is to get another computer on my network running this so I could just use this to access from to access it remotely though it did get up to this point just fine. When it came time to actually run that uh, the, like actually fit, that model and then start predicting things, it started doing not so great. See, like if I try to run it, uh, oh, did I not define it? Oh, okay, actually that was my bad. I'll fix that later. And where is it? Quit. All right, now, um, oh, cool, it actually shut down the thing. I've been having issues with that. So, yeah, there we go. Um, it has Siri on there, but what I've discovered is that you can't really do anything with Siri without an iOS device. Like, I tried to get it to, like, set reminders and stuff for me, but it wouldn't do it because it said, like, I need an iPhone to actually give me the reminder, so that's kind of lame. Um, the App Store was pretty lame. Like, pretty much, like, OS X is just so tablet-like, and it bothers me. Because, like, if you search for something, let's say, uh, Octave, it's the uh, GNU open source alternative to MATLAB, right? So I just get all this, like, off-brand crap that costs, like, a ton of money. Like, I don't know that, just, no, I don't want any of that. Uh, I did get FaceTime to work earlier. And uh, well, let's see what we got here. Obviously, I can't use Photo Booth because I'm already using the camera right now. But that's a thing. Uh, I'm actually going to try iMovie to edit this video. I want to crop out that draws the effect. I don't know. Actually, I'm pretty lazy. I probably won't. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I've heard good things about GarageBand, but I have, like, real music software, so I don't really have a need for that. Um, honestly, another thing about OS X I've discovered is that you don't really need much beyond the, uh, pre-installed stuff. Um, you know what, I'm gonna install Steam just to amuse myself. You notice all the things that popped up were all about Steam on Linux. <laughs> Uh, also, it's super, super secure about um, you installing. Uh... Also, I noticed it's really weird. You download um, installers as disk images. That, that just seems kind of weird to me. Okay, so it lit this one open by default. Or we'll see, I guess. But I've noticed it gave me all kinds of permissions nonsense originally when I tried this and like uh the pain. Okay, so I guess Steam is just here now. Okay, here we go. 
At least it gave me an are you sure as opposed to just a straight up no. Okay, I don't care. Just figure it out. <laughs> also, I've noticed this little bar down here gets very crowded very fast. Um, don't care about system preferences. Uh, don't really care about the app store. Um, as much as I'd like to be one of those AI kind of people, I don't really care about Siri. Also, I've noticed that uh, multiple digital assistants doesn't tend to go well. Uh, also, uh, this is probably just partly because I got the 13 inch, but I've noticed that actually full screening things is very rare. Like the general workflow of uh, Mac looks kind of like this, where you just have all the stuff everywhere, and a lot of stuff just doesn't even like to full screen. Oh, that's new. How do I do that? No, bring that back. That's one of the things I like about GNOME. Now, if I remember right, okay. Now we're talking. Uh, cause I remember that was a thing when I tried this at the store, but it took like, I couldn't figure it out. So there we go. I learned something. And personally, like, see, this is such a tablet thing. Like who wants a pre-installed stocks app? And maybe I'm crazy, but that box doesn't look like, am I crazy? Like, because this box looks noticeably tilted compared to that one. Maybe it's just an illusion because it's like a rectangular object tilted slightly. But who knows. Now some of the utilities I will actually use. Ugh, of course it opens it in the ugly view. Okay, let's get the not ugly view. I'm starting to learn the keyboard shortcuts. So command shift U gets you utilities and it still looks ugly. Okay. Okay, okay. That made me feel a lot better just now. Uh, like disk utility, use that. System information, terminal. I hate keychains. I wish I could get rid of this. Ugh. Keychains are the worst. Like, I already had to log into my computer. What use is it going to be for me to type in what is probably the exact same password again? Like, your browser already remembers your passwords. Like, we're good here. It's not like I'm, like, I don't need this laptop to be Fort Knox here. Uh. All right. I'm gonna have to get out my phone real quick to do this because I don't want to show you all the password. <laughs> W7F. I almost sneezed on this thing. That would have been terrible. Okay. Okay, actually, the notification just, po just popped up on my uh, desktop. I didn't think about uh, the game streaming possibility here. Uh, let me just exit this because it bothers me. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you can already see, even within my relatively small uh, gaming library, that I lose a lot of games as soon as I switch to Mac. Now, it still lets me game stream ones from Windows, so that's something. Let's see. Um, looks like most of the ones I care about are still here. Uh, lose everything VR. But that was a given. Oh, I lost Oblivion. Oh, that makes me sad. I feel like there, there's something in this gap here. Oh, GTA 5 doesn't work. That's depressing. Yeah, GTA 5 doesn't work. That's really sad. That's not that it ever would have on a MacBook Air. Uh, Double My Cry is gone. Doom's gone. 
Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I, I feel like I was... I think I went too far in my whole defending the possibility of gaming on Mac. This is a significant loss here. Okay, what are we now in the H's? Uh, Katamari. Please tell me Katamari made it. Okay, nope. None of that made it. Of course Kingdom makes it. Uh, of course, all Valve games work on anything Steam works on. Paladin survives. <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies survives. Uh, let's see what else we lost. Uh, not much. Oh, please tell me Quake Champions works. Nope. That that's a complete deal breaker for me right there. Like that's one of my main games. Resident Evil, Rocket League. Rocket League probably will survive, yeah. Rocket League makes it. Um Resident Evil doesn't. I really thought the AAA games would have made more of an effort to run on Mac, but apparently not. Um, a lot of these are just strange indie games. Terraria should work, right? And if Warframe doesn't work, then like this is definitely over. Yep, Terraria makes it, but Warframe doesn't. So, uh, yeah, gaming on Mac, absolutely no way. Like, I, I have seen enough. God, get out of my life, quick time. I hate quick time too. Like VLC all day. So uh, let's see if there's anything else I can play with. Let's see what's in the system preferences. I'm assuming this is the equivalent of control panel. Uh, oh, that's another thing. Is uh, I have five gigs of iCloud. Yay. I've used 12 megabytes. Guess the data science shit I wasn't do I was doing wasn't that impressive. Mm. Ooh, what's this? I don't like that there was a load time just for that. Oh, this is where you can set. There's a lot of pretty uh, built-in um, desktop pictures. That's cool. Why is there a screensaver option? Like, it's, <laughs> it's 2019. That technology is hilariously obsolete. Oh, let me publish the old video. Um, yeah, that, that's, a, that's about it, honestly, as far as wandering around the OS. Um, I guess also where it's a laptop, you're not going to have to take, like, too good of care of, like, where things are and that kind of thing. Uh... Yeah. So, um, that's about it. Yeah. So, I guess, final conclusion. Like, final, final conclusion. Also, sorry, I know for sure the mic is worse on this, but, you know, I can't expect it to come with a mic better than, like, a real mic. Um, it's a nifty little device for, like, I guess you could say, like, work school type stuff even though I'm unconvinced there's a legitimate use of a laptop for any educational purpose um okay I guess you could say well the comp sci classes and I'm like they'll provide a computer and like you're not going to pay attention in any class you have a computer be real uh so yeah gaming's definitely out the window so that just leaves like web browsing and a bunch of stuff you could do on a tablet, but I prefer laptops because laptops are nice. So I uh, guess that's about it. See ya.